Meanwhile, we can verify tonight that Facebook is now taking new steps to tackle fake news. They just announced 652 Facebook pages, groups and accounts have been shut down. And just look at some of the examples. The nuke book featuring President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. And there is this fake picture of former First Lady Michelle Obama. You can imagine the outrage something like this generates on social media. Facebook says those are just a few of the fake images used to stir up political mess in the Middle East, Latin America, the UK, and the US. So who's behind all of this? Facebook says some of this stuff came from Iran and some from Russia. And listen to this, these fake news accounts had more than 800,000 followers and ran at least $12,000 in ads on Facebook and Instagram. It's just the sheer volume of content on Facebook makes it so that we can't no amount of people that we can hire will be enough to review all of the content. Yes, you may remember this all comes after Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg spent days on Capitol Hill earlier this year answering questions about the social media giant. Of course, this latest news has some asking, what about free speech? Mark Zuckerberg runs a company, not a government. He has the right and responsibility to decide what should and should not be on his platform, what's, what's decent and not. He's not responsible for free speech. So 652 Facebook pages shut down today for peddling fake news, and that's not all. The Washington Post has a full report looking at how Facebook is now rating the trustworthiness of users. This is all part of our new reality, folks. Everybody and the mama, brother, and cousin too is on social media these days. And Facebook says they are taking steps to ban and seek out fake news because they want people to be able to trust the connections they make on the site. But some feel more needs to be done. As long as Zuckerberg refuses to take that kind of a moral position in the sense of guiding what is right and wrong and lets it be freewheeling, he's going to continue to have trouble. What do you think? Should social media companies do more to tackle fake news? Head to our Facebook page, ABC10 TV, to join the conversation.